Hi, it's time for another math easy solution to discuss further into uh, differential equations and now look even further into population growth and go over the logistic equation. And I'll explain what all that all means. Basically, the logistic model is, uh, is just a more so sophisticated model for population growth than the basic exponential growth model that I covered in my earlier video. And to recap on that, basically the, uh, the typical uh, model for population growth was the uh, DP or the growth rate is uh, proportional to the population uh, population size and also uh, if you were to solve this if if we had um, the initial value P of time 0 is equal to let's say P0 then the solution P of T of the population is equal to P0 E K T and this is basically the uh, yeah this is the basic exponential growth model and there's a exponential uh, function there yeah now in developing this more advanced logistic model I will use the concepts I covered in my earlier videos namely direction fields uh, Euler's method and the explicit solution of separable equations yeah and you could again watch more of those videos I'll put all those in a link below on these and uh, for example this one uh, this is an explicit solution of this separable differential equation because you can separate all the p's to one side and all the t's on the other side anyway so make sure to watch those I'll put those in a link below in the, in the uh, video description so let's move further so the logistic model as explained in my earlier videos a population often increases exponentially in its early stages but levels off exponentially uh, I mean eventually and approaches its carrying capacity because of limited resources so this is the exponential growth but a population can't just keep increasing and increasing there's not enough resources for that so it has to plateau at, at a carrying capacity or a maximum capacity so if p of t is the size of the population at time t we assume that the rate dp yeah the growth rate dp over dt this is equal to k times P so similar to uh, this one here, but this is um, yeah, this is only if so only if P is small. So if it's small, then basically the growth rate is proportional to that population size. Yeah. Now again, this uh, basically says that the growth rate is initially close to being proportional to size. And in other words, the relative growth rate is almost constant when the population is small. Again, relative growth rate, if you just move this P on the other side, so that's just, let's say, P prime over P, or the growth rate per population size, uh, so it's like a ratio, so that's the relative growth rate. Again, this just equals to DP over DT. Oh, let's move, the, move it around. 1 over P DP over DT. The same thing as just uh, writing it like that. Uh, P prime just looks better, uh, just it looks a bit neater to show that it's a relative growth rate. And then basically what it's almost constant, in other words, it equals to K or uh, close to K. Yeah, actually let's write a approximately uh, constant K. And this is again if P is small. But when we are uh, trying to do, uh, yeah, determine this more uh, more advanced uh, logistic model. We also want to reflect the fact that the relative growth rate decreases as the population increases. Basically, as population gets bigger and bigger, the relative rate has to decrease. Yeah, because there just uh, is less and less resources uh, available. So, well, before uh, I get to it further, uh, another condition is that the relative growth rate has to become negative if P ever exceeds its carrying capacity. K. This means that uh, if the um, you know, population is larger than it can sustain, it has to basically decrease. Uh, so, it, so in, in that way, if it's decreasing, the relative growth rate has to be negative. So that's this negative right here. And again, the capital K is the maximum population that the environment is capable of sustaining in the long run. And now the simplest expression for the relative growth rate that incorporates all of these assumptions uh, including while well, this uh, this is relatively constant right here when P is small let's write that again if P is small yeah so 
Yeah, we have to incorporate this condition and as well as a growth rate decreases a published increase then it becomes negative when it's above K and the simplest expression is writing this growth rate as well there's P prime over P or the growth rate over P or in other words 1 over P and then we have this DP if you write in this notation DP over DT and this equals 2 K times a k times 1 minus and then we're going to have p over the carrying capacity capital k like this so this is capital k don't get confused with the regular uh, k or with the small case k for that uh, that's the constant of uh, population growth and now this expression works this uh, this incorporates all of these conditions well basically if uh, let's just look at it if p is small so if p is small, then what we end up having is 1 minus p over the carrying capacity k. Well, this is small, so this is approaching, well, uh, 0. Or in other words, it's uh, let's just say it's really small, so it's about 0 or close to 0. So then we have a 1 minus 0 is roughly equal to 1. In other words, it's uh, roughly proportional uh, or, uh, or I mean uh, roughly constant k. So now if we have if uh, p is yeah if let's say is, if p is large but let's say less than k. So if p is large uh, I mean is large but less than k capital K. Then what we end up having is a one minus p over k. Where if it's still less than it, so it's still going to be less than one. But this is approaching, well, yeah, this, this top part right here is it's approaching actually 1. So it's roughly equal to 1, and then this part here, we're going to have a 1 minus uh, 1, it, it, uh, something like that. So it's roughly equal to 1. So in other words, I mean, roughly equal to 0, 1 minus 1. So in that in that uh, case, what we're, what's happening is that it's decreasing. It's getting closer and closer, and, and eventually just, just stops increasing. And that is uh, actually at the carrying capacity k. So now if we have, let's say, p is larger than k, then what happens is this uh, bracket right here, we have a 1 minus p over k, where this is larger than this, so that, that number is greater than 1. So what we end up having is 1 minus a number greater than 1, and that is, well, less than 0. That's negative. So we have a negative, and then the population, or the relative growth rate, decreases. Yeah, so basically these conditions all uh, all ensure that, well, th these are all met by this um, uh, simple ex the simplest expression for the relative growth rate. So when we have that now, if we multiply both sides by P, we obtain the model for population growth known as the logistic differential equation. So we multiply by P, so move this over, and then we're just going to have the growth rate, and this is how it's usually written, dp over dt is equal to k, uh, small case k, times p, and then all times it by 1 minus capital P over capital K, like that. And this is our uh, logistic differential equation. And again, from this, uh, we can notice from this equation that if p is small compared with uh, k, then p over k has to be close to yeah, close to zero because this is uh, really small, and let's say k is really large, so it's close to zero. So again, dp over dt when p is small is roughly constant or uh, proportional to the population size based on this population constant uh, k. And again, however, if the population approaches its carrying capacity, in other words, if, uh, and I'll explain this above, if P is approaching K, or capital K, then what we end up having is, again, then P over K is approaching 1, like that, and when that happens, we have this DP over DT is approaching KP, and then this is a 1 minus 1, that's our p over k, and again this approaches 0. So this just means it's all approaching 0. Yeah, in, in other words, put this together, basically the growth, growth rate is approaching 0, so it's, it's uh, not growing much. 
Yeah, now moving further again, uh, we can deduce information about whether uh, solutions increase or decrease whenever we have a solution directly from this logistic equation. Basically, if population uh, P lies between 0 and K, then the right side of the equation right here is going to be, well, positive because P is less than K greater than 0, and then this is going to be less than 1, but greater than 0. So we're going to have a positive side there then that means that the right side is positive, thus the growth rate dp over dt is greater than zero and the population increases. And if the population exceeds the carrying capacity, in other words, p is greater than k, again, as I explained in the relative growth rates, the same thing applies for the absolute growth rate dp over dt. Then what we have is one minus pk, uh, p over k is negative because this p over k is, uh, is larger than one. And so that the relative, I mean, the absolute growth rate dp over dt is less than zero, and the population decreases. So whenever we, even if we determine the solutions to this differential equation, we could still use this to know if it's increasing or decreasing based on the value of p and k. Anyways, uh, yeah, carrying capacity k. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned from this, pretty in interesting video on this, and and. Um, in later videos, we'll go over some uh, direction fields, Euler's method, and other parts, uh, other solutions of, sep of separable equations, all in the goal of uh, determining more advanced and accurate population growth uh, formulas. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.